Defensively, you got to get it right, but offensively, you have that freedom. Is that what you kind of felt here in this first set? Definitely, definitely. Uh, I feel like defensively, uh, coaches, uh, for like defensive minded guys, so he wants us to help each other on defense and have defensive pride on one on one. But when it comes to offense, he just wants to flow, uh, just flow in it and just play, play like simple as possible, take open shots. Like I was open today, I didn't shoot it. So he kind of like stopped me and told me to shoot the next one. So I feel like he doesn't put boundaries on you. He just wants you to be the best player you can be on offense. Is that what you think is the biggest adjustment for the defensive end and trying to get possible opponents? I feel like everything is an adjustment. You know, it's like the first day and you come in and you got Chris, Drew, and all these great players and you just kind of like, damn, I'm really here, you know? And I feel like it's just a surreal moment. Like uh, last year I was in college, I imagined this moment like in my head over and over again. So. Just being here is just a blessing by itself. So as I said, like the biggest thing for me is just to learn from there and be a sponge and uh, just get adjusted to the physicality of the game. Uh, Brooke is pretty big guy. So it's just kind of like when you play with him, you just got to find the ways to be better and kind of get him better as well. So just, just as I said, looking to get better. It was great. I know it's early, but how open have the veterans kind of been with other players just in terms of helping me out, getting the buzz? No, they're great. They're great. Uh, I feel like everybody's like just talking to you, trying to explain something new to you, and just be be right there with you. They they have been rookies, uh, so they know what you're going through. It they know you're gonna overthink some stuff, so they just tell you to play as simple as possible and just believe in your game, trust your shot. Uh, Bobby's locker room is next to me, so every time I have a question, I can just ask him, and uh, he always just breaks it down for me. George Hill, all the other guys. So, you know, I'm happy to be here because it's so many rookies. Uh, so many vets, you can just learn so much from them. So, uh, you know, they're great. This is the first time locally we've seen you since even draft day. I know it might seem like forever ago now, but what was that night like? What was, especially to know you're coming to a team that had won an NBA title what, like six days? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, you know, it was great. First, like my pre-draft workout with Milwaukee went great. Um, I feel like I felt like uh, it would be a right fit. So, like, I just wanted to be here. Um, I wanted to learn and I feel like this is the organization who believes in their players like for example take Giannis look at where he is and where, how he came here so I just I just look forward to getting better and I feel like it was the organization to be at so um, the room was going crazy you know it, the trade happened my mom thought I was going to the Pacers but then like when I explained to him everybody was super excited and you know, my father was like, I gave my father like Milwaukee jersey, the practice jersey, like two days before the draft. So it's crazy how everything happened. So, you know, it, it was it was like amazing atmosphere. Uh, whatever I dreamed of just happened there and my whole family was there to witness it. So now I'm just putting all for my country uh, and just I want to make everybody back home proud. Is there something to be said too for this, for like Jordan's a second round pick, Chris is a second round pick, like there's there's a road ahead of you to, to stick, but that this organization's had a little bit of a history with, with players. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. I like as I said, like this is an organization. If you come in, you work, you you are dedicated to being a better teammate, a better person, and just learning. Like you're gonna stick around and you're gonna get better. So, as I said, I was excited to be here because of, like, of many reasons. But one of the reasons was like. They don't like it. Don't matter which draft pick you are for them. Like as long as you are here to get better, be uh, be a better version of yourself every day. Like they're gonna they're gonna see that. So uh, I'm just excited to be here, you know, and just it, it, like I want to just thank them for giving me an opportunity. Now it's all about just believing in myself and the team and everybody else believing in me. You hadn't been through a practice yet, hadn't been around the team, and you got invited to go hang out in Greece for a little. Oh, yeah. <laughs> But I guess for you, what was that like? Kind of like olive branch, like, hey, you're part of the team. We're happy to have you, and, and kind of get you done. Yeah, like, it, it was surreal. Like as I said, like I was just watching them play NBA Finals, and out of nowhere, I'm at the beach with them. You know what I'm saying? And I just, just I'm just looking around, and it's like Giannis is there, Thanasis is there, you know, Shami, some some new players as well. So it was just kind of like a bonding experience for us. Uh, we all kind of bonded together, had fun, played some basketball out there too. So, uh, you know, it was a big step. It was like a big jump, uh, but I feel like it was needed. Uh, as a rookie, you know, you got you are so tense, and just seeing everybody so relaxed and everybody in kind of vacation mode was was great. But also, like I feel like even if we were in Greece, everybody was talking about being better and getting better, winning more games this year, and just being more kind of the bigger team and. You know, it was just great being a part of it because 
you see, like, even though they're, they're resting, they're still talking about business, and they're still talking about getting better. So it, it was great being here. Giannis was trying to sell some shoes yesterday. I noticed you have some freaks on. Like, is that mandated? Like, Giannis was like, hey, is this what you got to wear? Or? You know, you want to be on the best side of him. So, you know, as long as he gives me this, the shoes, I'm going to be happy, you know. And um, he's a great guy, so I just want to be, you know, I want to be on the good side of him. So I'm going to wear as much Greek freaks as I can. <laughs> did he set up the trip? Like, how did that come together for you in terms of learning about it? And <laughs> uh, you see, I, like, uh, they just told me, like, I think John Hor said that everybody's going to Greece and whoever wants to go, uh, it would be great to be there. And I feel like everybody was there. A couple of owners were there and just kind of like everybody in the organization was there. And just, you know, even even though, like, it was a basketball trip and vacation, like, we saw so many great place, places like Acropolis and other stuff. and. You know, just uh, it's a it's a historic city, so just being there and learning it, it also like helps you uh, in life. So it was a, it was a great 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 trip.